Uh, folks, we have a 1967 Plymouth GTX. Silver mist with a blue interior. This is really a sharp car in person. I hope it looks good on your screen as well. I got this car from a really fussy customer. I don't think I'll ever sell him a car again because he's so fussy, but anytime he wants to sell me a car, I buy them. This thing flew through the shop. Uh, when I get a car from him, I know they're dialed in. They run, drive, and perform excellent. This car is original drive line, born the way you see it. The colors, even the chrome wheels are on the paperwork here. We have literature. We have the glove box pouch with the manuals. We have restoration receipts. We got letters from Chrysler. They actually took the time to help them document the car, or a previous owner, I should say. We have two clean build sheets. We have the punch cards. We even have the original window sticker. So you want to talk about a documented car? This one is it. Go to volocars.com, find out the price tag on this and about 200 other classic cars, all for sale. And each of them will have a monthly uh, finance payment that you can afford. Right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. We'll talk more about the motor later, but it's the original 440. It's been bored and stroked to a 505. It's about 500 horsepower. This thing is a ripper. So the body's going to be great. Uh, it has the two little scoops on here that the GTX uh, came with. All nice, straight, clean metal. Gaps are nice, square, uniform. Looks really good. All clean right down to the bottom. All clean metal. That other door shut real nice. Let's see how this one does. Oh, yeah, nice thump. And that's with the windows up. It all lines up beautifully. No rust popping through. It's all nice, clean, straight. The lines are nice. All this looking really good. Really nice, clean body on this car. There's a little tiny bump right here. Just a little bump. Uh, all nice and clean. You got the chrome pop-up racing ga style gas cap. All nice and clean. We'll, we'll demonstrate this again. That's nice. Clean, lines up real nice and square and straight. Uh, painted the original silver mist color. There's a hairline crack in the paint, one, one crack. I'll say the paint is very nice. It's got a little texture in places or a little dust or a little, little this or that, but it, it's, it's shiny, it's straight. The metal flake is laid out real nice. It's all one color. Windshield. Looks like it's probably the original. It's very good, but it has light patina. It has the fender turn signals. The chrome's real good, but the lens is at the typical crack right in the middle. They all have that. You know what? That's not a crack. Maybe that's... So you, you can uh, screw them in and out. I just The last GTX, I said the same thing. It has a crack in the middle. It looks exactly like those. So maybe you can leave comments and tell me if they're supposed to have a line. Belvedere GTX, original, not pitted. I believe this is upgraded to a power antenna. We'll verify that. Here's a hairline crack, exactly the same spot as the other side. Mirror looks like new. Door handles gently worn. Glass is real nice. All the trim looks to be very good, original. The rear window's real nice, original. This looks to be real nice, original. It's kind of nice to see original in that good a shape. This is not all pitted and jagged. Bumper looks real nice, little dull, right in the groove, a little tarnishing. But this whole panel is really sharp looking. Tires and wheels. The chrome magnum wheels, 15 inch, probably 15 by seven. They are sparkling. The radial red lines, they're BF Goodrich. Those are new, folks. They look dynamite on this car. So there you have it. Why don't we open it up? The grill looks real nice. Front bumper's good, like a 7 out of 10. Let's open it up. I got a lot more good stuff to show you, including a blue interior. So this is a brand new arrival. Like I was saying, it flew through our inspection process. We now have something. You can text the word new, N-E-W, to this number, 844-592-2431. Type the word new. Text it to us, and you'll be notified when new arrivals come in. Now let's see what the trunk looks like. 
Okay, so underneath the trunk lid, painted real nice, has the sticker, the jam is painted up real nice, weather strips in excellent shape. It's a really nice clean trunk compartment, very neatly spatter painted. This is a brand new mat. They must have just took it out of the box or something. It's kind of wrinkled. That'll settle, especially once it's in, in some uh, warmth. Uh, this sticks up a little bit because today's tires are much wider. The original tire would have sat down in there and this would be flat because they're real skinny. And over there is the jack assembly. It looks like it's mounted in the proper location. We also have a buy it now button next to each car. If you see something you like, you click the button, that'll lock it in for you. Door jams are painted real slick. Weather strips are real nice. So the blue metal on the interior is original. There's a little bit of crackling, a little gentle bit patina on the blue paint. Door panels, armrest, uh, they look new. Dash area is just very nice, clean, original, not cracked, not beat up, busted, broken, nothing like that. All looks good. They did remove the cigarette lighter and put a couple USB uh, ports. You can plug in your phone and charge it. Original AM radio is still in place. It actually turns on, but look what we have here. Modern stereo. You can listen to your tunes. It's all good, unabused condition. Real nice blue carpet, GTX mats. The lights work on the console. It does have a factory tachometer. Console's very good, original condition. Seats are all reupholstered, and the GTX has this Western imprint on the seats, and you might have noticed it on the door panels, too. And now you can see it's blue. It's not black. Just overall very good condition. Not perfect, but very nice. The upholstery is pretty much perfect. The rear shelf looks good. Headliner is tight as a drum. There's not a wrinkle in it. Dome light works. Visors look like they're good originals. And the steering wheel's in nice original condition as well. Yeah, pretty cool, the silver with the blue. Anytime you have a car, you want it to be a little different from all the others. So this is the correct uh, motor, 440. They didn't actually have matching VIN numbers in 67 yet, but it is dated and uh, correct casting codes. Uh, but this motor has been uh, bored and stroked. It has an Eagle uh, stroker kit. And it'll sit and idle just smooth as can be. Uh, but it, it's making 500 horsepower. So original manifolds, valve covers. Uh, looks like original style carb underneath that air cleaner from best I can see. And it is the right dual snorkel air cleaner. So the engine bay is nice and clean. The hoses are run neatly. Even the washer fluid hose in the bottle is proper. We got both horns. Alternator looks brand new. Correct hose clamps, the correct Mopar radiator, the right cap, the right shroud. This even has a Mopar reproduction battery. This is not one of those plastic toppers. It's the whole battery. All bolted properly, has a disconnect switch. And then where you get away from here, that's the original uh, fender tag, they call it. And it has a lot of information on there that documents the car. It has an upgraded Borgeson power steering system. That's the pump, the steering box. Also has power brakes that all looks real nice. Again, all painted real nice, has hood insulation. It's a good looking engine compartment. So Caleb's gonna take you for a spin in the GTX.
Ride 68 GTX. It's got the Performance 440 in it that's been built out. So this baby's gonna move. I spent some time talking to uh, the previous owner on this car. He absolutely loved it. And he was telling me what a great car it was, telling me a few things about it. So we're gonna put it to the test. Taking her around the block, gonna show you how she drives. Man, it feels good. You'll feel like a badass driving this one. I feel like I'm in a boss car right now. And these were, these were like the height of the muscle cars in the late 60s. Big body, big block. Let's go. Steering feels nice and tight. Power brakes are working really well. And we got a little bit of traffic, so we're gonna sit for a minute. I got the heat on. Works real nice, all the gauges are working. Uh, even the tach tachometer was working, I noticed that. Idle's real nice, it's quiet when you're sitting here. Let's see what she's got. Trans shifts perfectly. Woo, she keeps wanting to go. We gotta, we gotta slow down a little bit, but. It's got some nice torque. Nice pickup in this one. And it's comfortable, you got plenty of room. It sounds good. Let's see if we can get some of that exhaust note. That one threw me back in the seat a little bit. Not gonna lie, I was, I'm impressed. Yeah, super solid car. So underneath this car, ooh, the trunk closes nice too. Underneath this car is really nice and has a couple of nice upgrades. Well, four nice upgrades. It has disc brakes at each of the four wheels. They were still drum back in 1967. This has a complete upgrade, uh, including the uh, e-brake system. Uh, it has a great sounding dual exhaust with an H-pipe, Flowmaster mufflers, and the correct chrome tips coming out the back. Steering and suspension looks like it's all been redone. The fuel tank's been replaced. There's a, a really cool Holley electric fuel pump. It's about the size of a pack of uh, cigarettes. And the owner told me it can be 10 below. You turn that key on, let the pump run for a few seconds, hit the gas once, it'll fire right up. He said it can be 100 out. Do the same thing, it'll fire right up. That shut's nice too, nice and solid. Uh, so yeah, all the components under the car look like they've all been restored. You look up at the motor, it's as fresh as the top. Uh, looks like a high torque starter. Uh, correct torque flight 727 automatic trans. Has a shift kit in it, has a chrome pan on the bottom. And back is a sure grip rear end uh, with 323 gears. So there you have it, we have a really nice GTX here. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions like, how do you get this delivered to your garage? How do you take advantage of the financing? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.